I'm John Shirtle. Today I'm going to show you all the different clarinets that I play in the Hong Kong Philharmonic Orchestra. But first, I need to add a little something to my lip to protect myself because playing clarinet is difficult and sometimes it makes your lip a bit sore. So, I'll put that over my teeth and now I'm ready to show you all my different clarinets. These are all the clarinets that are generally used in a modern orchestra, and I'm going to start with the smallest and the highest clarinet, which is the E-flat clarinet. The E-flat clarinet usually in orchestra has all the silly parts, the fun parts, the wild parts, things like this. Next, I'll move on to the C clarinet, which is a little bit lower than the E-flat clarinet. This is an old-fashioned instrument. Uh, we don't play it as much anymore. It sounds like this. And I'm taking off my mouthpiece because the C clarinet, the B flat clarinet, and the A clarinet all use the same mouthpiece and the same reed. So when I switch instruments, I switch the entire mouthpiece. This is my B flat clarinet. This is the clarinet I play the most. play my A clarinet, which is only one half step lower than the B flat clarinet. See, they're almost the same size. It's just a little bit bigger, a little bit lower. Now let's move into the world of the low clarinets, starting with the basset horn which is in the key of F, and it is very rarely used, but there's a few good orchestra pieces that use it, and this is what the basset horn sounds like. Now we'll move over to the bass clarinet, which is the lowest of the usual orchestral clarinets in the modern world. It's in B flat, which is the same key as this soprano clarinet, only one octave lower. To show off my B-flat clarinet, I'd like to play for you one of the most famous clarinet excerpts and one of the most notorious because it uses a special technique that we call a smear which is something that uh, some of the other woodwind players can't do. Let me just play you the excerpt. I'm sure you'll hear where the smear is and then we'll talk a little bit about that more later. <laughs> I often get asked, how do you make that sound on the clarinet? So the smear is the and I do that mostly with my tongue. It's sort of the same, the same feeling as when you whistle a low note or you whistle a high note. You, you change you change your tongue position. It's not so much about the fingers, because even without fingering, I can get that range just with my tongue. I usually carry, in fact I always carry, a little bag with me that I can put under my chair, even in a concert, that has all the tools that I need for basic maintenance. The most important of these is simply your cleaning swab. Another thing 
that you need to do frequently with your clarinet is use cork grease. I also carry, at all times with me, a little screwdriver. As you play a lot, the screws can work themselves out, so I often will give my, my clarinets a visual inspection. If I see a screw that's worked itself loose, I'll just go in with my screwdriver and tighten it up a little bit.